All right, so it is about two o'clock um, in the afternoon on day 28. It is February 23rd, and um, Caitlin just texted me if I got to my doctor's appointment, and yes, I just made it. Yeah, so um, I just got to the doctor's appointment. Uh, last week on Thursday, I took some blood uh, blood work for um, for my liver to see how that's doing with the medication I'm on and um, took some x-rays so they should have gotten the results so we're gonna go see what the results are today hopefully and I will let you know here shortly um, as far as symptoms are going uh, just I mean I feel I'm pretty okay it's just my feet still that hurt um, so I'm still wearing slippers but other than that um, joints and everything are fine um, I haven't really ran or anything so I really don't know exactly um, how my um, you know fatigue is going or whatever but I know from moving into the new apartment it was kind of rough at first but uh, pretty much all that's over with so um, so yeah I guess we will see how um, I'm doing and see how far along this valley fever is and hopefully we'll get some good answers today so we'll know we'll know shortly all right, just got back from the specialist not too long ago, and um, overall we had pretty good results um, from the blood work that was taken last week and the x-ray. Uh, the results that came in were um, for the liver, since the fluconazole, the antifungal medication, is hard on your liver. Um, they said that the, um, the results came back good. Uh, the levels are where they should be. I don't know what these numbers mean or anything, but... Um, I don't have to worry anything about that as of right now. So they're going to continue to keep me on fluconazole for the next five months or so. That's what I'm prescribed for. Um, I still have to take the liver functional test once a, once a month uh, for the next five months. And um, and yeah, so that's, that's that. And then also I had my x-ray of my chest done last week to see how the cavity is doing in my left lung. And it looks like they said... Uh, previously noted nodular density in the left mid lung with questionable early cavitary formation has decreased in size. Overall, the lesion measures about 11 millimeters. There does appear to be some central lucency, and this is probably a very small cavity. Uh, lungs are otherwise clear. The heart and mediastinum appear unremarkable. Um, and then the impression that they said was the, just the lung cavity is now 11 millimeters in diameter. Um, so I asked what it started out as, and they said that the, the hole was about 1.7 centimeters in diameter. So obviously it's a blessing that the, um, um, the cavity has gotten a lot smaller down to 11 millimeters. So hopefully it just continues to get smaller uh, with this medication I'm on. And, um, um, I asked the, the specialist today, um, you know, when I could start going back to my, you know, either weightlifting or running or um, just stuff like that, kind of get out and do something, so, because uh, I've been taking it pretty easy, you know, so um, he said that, you know, if I want to start lifting weights or something, you know, start small and, you know, kind of work myself up, so I'm kind of excited to start, you know, doing that a little bit just so I can kind of get out and do a little bit more. Um, that book that I was reading the Valley Fever Silent Epidemic. Um, I posted in one of my earlier videos of Valley Fever, but um, I mentioned that there was about 75% were unable to do their usual activities for more than three months, median 47 days. So today's day 28 and I'm starting to um, get the approval or whatever to go back to my normal activities. So um, it looks like um, we you know, obviously did catch it at an early stage, and I'm very thankful that we did and that things are going um, pretty well. Good news all around, I guess, so we'll keep you updated, and I'll be posting some more videos. I'm helping Caitlin get her YouTube channel up, and so I'll be posting some shout-outs uh, about her videos here shortly. That should be it for now, and I just want to thank you all for your support and your prayers, and... Um, just for continuing, um, just asking how I'm doing. I really appreciate it. It means a lot.